Exploring the phrase, wild as a March hare. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English expression, wild as a March hare. This phrase is rich in imagery and history, and we're going to unpack its meaning, origins, and how you can use it in everyday conversation. Let's hop right in. The phrase, wild as a March hare, is used to describe someone or something that is behaving very erratically or crazily. Hares, which are similar to rabbits but larger and with longer ears, are known for their energetic behavior, especially during their breeding season in March. This is when they can be seen jumping wildly and acting in unpredictable ways. So, when someone is as wild as a March hare, they're acting so lively, unpredictable, or eccentric that it's comparable to the spirited antics of a hare in spring. The expression, wild as a March hare, has its roots in British folklore and has been in use since at least the 1500s. The behavior of hares in March, which includes boxing matches between males and erratic jumping, contributed to the belief that they behaved particularly madly during this time of year. This phrase was popularized in literature, most notably by Lewis Carroll in Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, with the character of the March Hare, who is indeed portrayed as quite mad. Using wild as a March Hare in conversation is a great way to add flair and vivid imagery to your speech. It's particularly useful when describing someone's unusual or hyperactive behavior. For example, after three cups of coffee, my brother was as wild as a March hare, bouncing from one topic to another. You should have seen the kids at the party. They were wild as March hares, running around everywhere. It's a phrase that captures attention and conveys a clear picture of chaos and unbridled energy perfect for storytelling or describing lively scenes. We hope you've enjoyed this exploration of the phrase, wild as a March hare. It's a wonderful example of how language can draw on the natural world to convey human emotions and behaviors. Next time you see someone acting in an especially lively or erratic way, you'll have the perfect expression to describe them. Thank you for watching and we look forward to sharing more interesting English phrases with you in our future videos. Keep learning and stay curious!